Turns out I could not escape this. We're doing it again. Today we're gonna be making pizza in a cup. A little pizza in, 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 in a cup. Huh? So I'm gonna try something different since the first time I've done one of these episodes. I'm going to do one of the recipes I found online first, realize that it doesn't really work that well, and then do a good one that I made. We are starting with putting four tablespoons of all-purpose flour or two float ounces of flour into our mug. Then we're adding a one-fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. Then add one-eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Then add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then three tablespoons of milk. This will make a substitute for eggs. The, the, I don't know how bacon works. Then mix it up all nice and pretty. Now it might get a little thick, but you still can't get it. Wait, oh, that's what's supposed to look like, you sure? Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Then I lightly damp my fingers and started pushing it around to make it flat, and I, 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 I don't know why I did this. Then I put in one spoonful of my homemade sauce. Then I sprinkled in some miffy looking cheese. It was really weird looking at it up close. Then of course, like all things, you put it in the microwave for one minute. Hey buddy, you set it for, uh, you set it for ten seconds, not one minute, so you put in one zero instead of one zero zero. Yep, there, there we go, go on, change it, good job. Then I took it out, and that, that really doesn't look too, um, good. All right, let's uh, mix it around a little. Maybe let's see what'll that do. One. And oh, oh my goodness, it doesn't taste good. First of all, the cheese tastes like a result of an instant cheese packet just dead body you found behind a dumpster in an abandoned Kmart. I really like my sauce though; it's homemade. But most alarmingly, the inside of the dough is kind of raw and not very good at all. So I have an idea how to fix that. So this time I have a better game plan, and I thought this through. I'm putting all the ingredients for the dough in the small bowl you see here. See, look at me go. Look at me putting all the liquid and the olive oil in the milk. All right, let's speed this up now. All right, so look at me uh, mixing it. I'm pouring this into a little dough ball and covering my hands with a light amount of flour. Now look at this, I have a little dough ball. Then I cut up three little pieces of dough, flatten, then rinse them in the mug, dough, sauce, cheese, rinse and repeat two more times, and then I put it in the microwave for one minute again. Because my main problem with war was the dough not cooking, so I thought if I make dough in little sections, it'd probably cook a lot easier, right? Well, it's time to put it in the test, and I put it in the microwave for one minute, which I already stated before. All right, now I took it out, and wow, that looks actually a little bit better. Now let's uh, see, let's see what it tastes like. But first, I have to show you what's down the middle, and there's, re there's really nothing in there. It's just sauce, cheese, and dough. I thought I'd get a good shot of that. Now, when I'm editing this, I'm very disappointed. Well, let's take a bite. And well, this actually isn't that bad. It's um, it's actually cooked through for once. It's actually pizza in a cup, even though technically it's lasagna in a cup. Plus, I'm calling it pizza in a cup because it's more flashy in the title. Fun fact, there's over 45 minutes in total of footage I recorded. And I bet half of that was me looking for that dang oregano. There was supposed to be oregano in the recipe on top of the pizza, but hey, I couldn't find it, so I guess we're stuck with this. 